fight Javante and then he's gonna fight the winner early next year. Well, Kenny Ellis came out retracting his statements. Boxing fans, grab your popcorn because this is wild. The fight we've all been hyped for, the epic clash between Gervonta Tank Davis and Vasily Lomachenko is officially cancelled. Yeah, you heard me right. The showdown of the century is off the table. And guess who's to blame? Loma. He bailed last minute. But honestly, can you blame him? I'd be having second thoughts too if I had to face a beast like Tank Davis. Remember what Tank did to Frank Martin? Total domination. Tank is a beast, no cap. But now that Loma chickened out, Tank is heated. What he did next broke the internet. You won't believe it. Both guys clashed in Paris during Boxing Olympic week. And you know how Tank rolls. He didn't waste a single second before throwing hands at Lomachenko. If it weren't for the security there, our guy Loma would be taking a trip to the hospital. There's a lot to discuss with this one. It all kicked off when Bob Arum gave the fans a treat by revealing these two fighters are in talks for a potential pro bout in September. Ingles, you also have almost infinite stamina. Him and We know that both fighters want to fight. So when that happens, then the suits sit down and try to work out the economic terms and put it together. And I'm optimistic that uh, they'll do that and that the fight will happen. But until... However, it all went to ashes as Loma ducked. Now, obviously, he's not going to tell the fans he's scared to step foot into the ring with Tank Davis, so his team had to come up with some kind of excuse, and Loma's promoter, Aegis Climus, did. Just take a look at this statement released by Aegis. Loma is not in the mood right now. He doesn't have the motivation at the moment. He's taking off. He wants to spend more time with the family. He doesn't want to do anything till the end of the year. So he's definitely not coming to the ring until the end of the year. With Loma, just money is not what motivates him. He doesn't take anything just because of money. You can offer him millions, tens of millions of dollars. If he doesn't have motivation, he's not ready to prepare for the fight. But hey, Tank is not out of opponents as Davis's co-trainer Kenny Ellis has got his eyes set on the Shakur fight. Yep, Shakur v's Davis, the one for the ages. Now that fight is going to go down in history as one of the biggest. I mean, if we get to see Shakur instead of Loma, then I'm not complaining about Loma ducking anymore. And what makes this even more interesting is that Shakur didn't waste a second before responding to this sudden turn of events. If you're one of the fans dying to see this epic fight go down, then I've got some good news for you. Shakur's ready to step in and take on Tank. He's been itching for a big fight, and now that Loma's out of the picture, this might just be the perfect opportunity. Can you imagine Shakur Stevenson versus Gervonta Tank Davis? The hype would be unreal. You better give this guy a call because he's ready to step in and put on a show. And just when you thought things couldn't get any bigger, they did. Guess who Shakur is training with? I'll give you a clue. This name will get under Tank's skin. Yep, Floyd Mayweather. Those two have been grinding hard together, and having Floyd in your corner is exactly what you need going into a fight with Gervonta Tank Davis. We all know the blood couldn't run any colder between Tank and Floyd. This is going to be a 1v2 showdown with Tank on one side and Floyd and Shakur on the other. Floyd's ego took a massive hit when Tank revealed he's landed a bigger deal than Floyd ever did. Now that's got a sting, especially since Floyd's nickname is Money. But you're telling me there's another guy in the scene making more bank and landing bigger deals? Yeah, Floyd's definitely not going to be a fan of that. This fight isn't just about titles or pride anymore. It's personal. Floyd backing Shakur is a direct shot at Tank, and the tension is through the roof. Uh, I set you off that you was like, I gotta do that. A lot of people don't know that what Floyd do. Uh, 
He said everything. So you feel like it was a sub? Like he was subbing you like, oh, he, like. He, that, he was going at me. Mm. He was going at me. Yeah. And I knew for sure he was going at me. That's why I went at him. There's yeah. no reason for me to go at Floyd. Yeah. That's yeah. what I was thinking. Because it's weird. I feel like y'all, y'all got, I would say love, hate. But it's been like the last interview you showed them love. This week it was whatever. But is that sometimes like, you know, is it just like big bro, little bro seeing things different? Or what is it to you? No, know, it just, it, Floyd don't never, he feel as though I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm at that point where as though I passed him. Mm. And I and I'm doing it at a young age. Wait, like when Floyd was 20, uh, 29, you'll see, bro. Yeah, that deal that I'm talking about. Yeah, oh, that's that the, deal, yeah, that's a part that's of the deal. He he don't know about that yet. Mm. But that's bigger than his deal. Damn, wow. And y'all just and I'm just releasing. <laughs> this is exclusive. That's yeah. exclusive. Bigger than Floyd deal. Yeah. Take no cap, nigga. That's a lot of bread. You'll see. It's okay. gonna come out. And this won't be the first time Floyd's backed Tank's opponent and helped him train. Floyd tried doing that with Frank Martin, but let's be real, it didn't quite turn out the way money wanted. Now, with Shakur in the mix, Floyd's bringing his A-game. You know, he the one told Frank that I was running at 5 o'clock, I mean 7 o'clock in the morning, Friday. He told Frank that. He was giving Frank tips and stuff like that. But I knew for sure that wasn't going to be enough to beat me. It's cool. It's, it's all right. You know? I don't really think too much of it. it ain't, he's not going to hurt me. You know what I mean? So it, it's, it's good to be with him than be cool with him because he can do some crazy stuff. He'll picture him in bad situations. This is going to be a huge fight. Perhaps it's a good thing Loma ducked. And guess what? This isn't the first time Loma has ducked a big name. Remember Shakur Stevenson? Yeah, Loma took one look and was like, Nah, I don't want that smoke. Shakur was initially coming at Bob Arum, blaming him for messing up the fight with Loma. But plot twist! Bob Arum spilled the tea that it was actually Loma who ditched the Shakur fight because he got a better offer. Sure, we get it. Loma's going to do what's best for his wallet. But here's the kicker. Loma even turned down Tank's offer, which was worth a whopping $10 million. Now that's a shocker. Shakur's universe is that he's independent to determine who he wants to fight, and everybody else is a puppet, and the promoters are the puppeteers. And that's just not true. I mean, that's just not realistic. But you can't get it through Shakur's head. So is that? Are you? Are you? In other words, Bob, are you saying even if I, even if I wanted to match you with Lomachenko, Lomachenko may have told me I want the Davis fight, Bob. I don't want to take this Stevenson well, fight. Well, the sure, the Davis fight is is more money. Is is a bigger fight. But just because Loma wants a little break right now doesn't mean we won't ever get to see this epic showdown. This fight created a huge buzz online, and people were already picking their favorites to win the bout. This one's closer than most people think. Tank isn't just going to run through Loma like he did with Frank Martin. Why, you ask? Well, our guy Eddie Hearn explained it best, so let's hear it from him. Eddie broke it down, saying that Loma's got the skills and experience to give Tank a real challenge. Sure, Tank is a beast, but Loma's technical prowess and ring IQ are off the charts. This fight isn't just about power, it's a chess match in the ring. Plus, Loma's still got that fire in him, even if he's not in his prime. He's not going down without a fight, so don't count this one out just yet. Um, I think it's a good fight. You know, I think Javonta Davis is extremely exciting, but he loses a lot of rounds. You know, he lost rounds to Frank Martin. He lost rounds to Pitbull Cruz. He lost rounds to Ryan Garcia. And I think he'll lose rounds to Lomachenko. I do think that Lomachenko may be a little bit too war-torn now to survive 12 rounds with Javonte. But it's a competitive fight. You know, Loma's got a great boxing brain. And like I said, I think Tank will lose rounds to, to Lomachenko. It's just a case of if he can get hold of him before the, the closing stretch. I think he would. But yeah, I think he's a solid fight. Yeah. The chances of that fight happening now are slim to none. Lomachenko is already 36, so any more waiting just pushes him further from his prime. He's not the powerhouse he was five years ago, dominating the sport. His losses to Teofimo Lopez and Devin Haney? Yeah, those were tough. Sure, he had an injured shoulder against Lopez, and some say he got robbed against Haney. But still, 
Loma even thought about retiring before facing Cambosos, but decided to keep going because his dad didn't want him to quit after the Haney loss. His main goal? Becoming an undisputed champ. But let's be real, that looks unlikely now. He'd have to take down Shakur Stevenson or Tank Davis to snag a belt, and let's not forget he ducked both of them recently. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.